Hey there YouTube, it's Forever Red 24 coming at you again with another Frieza deck profile. Today we're going to be talking about Blue Golden Frieza. I'm going to put that in the camera here. Um, yeah, so this would be the blue version of my Golden Frieza deck. If you guys look on my channel, I have another Frieza deck uh, that was blue. That was when I first started with the game. It took third at my very first tournament. Really proud of that. Really, really have a great time of playing blue with Frieza. Uh, his level 1 gets accelerated if you can't get off uh, your dominance and stuff. It, it just it flows really well with what Frieza is trying to do. Especially if you get stuck on uh, trying to get up to 4 kind of thing. Uh, say they get rid of all your dominances. Then you really don't have much of a choice but to try and um, win some other way. So this would be my Frieza beatdown deck. And I'll explain as I go. So we're going to kick things off with, actually I should probably do a brief explanation of what this deck is meant to do. So basically you have your Frieza. Um, basically you're going to use Blue Dominus to sit on level 2 the entire game. Pump out massive physical attacks, just massive damage. Absolutely insane. Like we're talking upwards of 13 stages of damage. Uh, best case scenario, which is ridiculous, absolutely absurd. So it, it's really good, really, really good. Frieza is disgusting, his effect is gross. Only thing I wish that Blue had more of is ally hate, but you know, it's also the style that supports allies the most, so you can't, can't have it all. So let's go ahead and get started with the events. Um, one time is Warriors Tool. Staple, Omni Block, amazing. Uh, three blue shifting maneuver. Omni Block. Um, what I like to do is crawl up to three anger, stay there, so that I can um, have these available for later if I need them. The uh, visiting the past. Um, three stare down. Uh, staple. Look at your opponent's hand, control the battlefield, control what, control what they have, control their options. It's amazing, uh, especially when you're putting a lot of pressure on them with Frieza. It's a lot of pressure for damage. You know, getting rid of that one physical block in their hand. <laughs> oh, wow. Can't tell you how many people I pissed off with that one. Uh, one lookout drill. Um, mainly there for the blue matchup, or the blue piccolo matchup. Also the Wheel All matchup, uh, Orange Goku matchup as well. Um, really good card, I like it. Um, can be pulled out with another card I run. Um, yeah, completely shuts down Piccolo, so that's pretty nice. Um, if you guys saw my red uh, Golden Freezer deck profile, there's a reason why I didn't run it in that one. It's like I said in the, in the profile, I use Red Restriction to shut them down. Other than that, I, I just wanted as few uh, non-battle, I didn't want as many non-combats and even just this one could definitely slow me down so I ran observation over it. Just quick clarification there. Uh, three blue stretch kick, AT plus five is insane. Uh, pull ball by blue, you can pull it out by blue lunge, so it gives you another attack. It could do upwards of 11 stages of damage by itself, um, even more if needed, and then you gain an anger off of it. Helps you maintain your anger so that you can use your blue shifting maneuvers to their fullest. Uh, three blue dominance, obvious card, helps you sit on level two. If for any reason they are running I'll Dig Your Grave, and they hop you up to three, hoping to keep you off of two. Uh, your option there really uh, if you play your cards right, you should be able to make it to four and sit there, which is even better than two. Um, or you can just dominance your way back up to, back to two. Um, two tree of might. I don't run any other drills in this deck. Um, I really feel like none of the drills in blue right now really help Frieza. I mean, standard Frieza, where his level two is the copy ability. Yeah, there's tons of support for that in blue right now. But for Golden Frieza, I really feel like none of the drills do him any justice. So I opted for Tree of Might, Searchable by Blue Lunge. 
um, <laughs> buffs your attacks, gets you lookout drill. It, it's just an excellent card. I really, really like it. Uh, two visiting the past staple. Um, this deck, this card might be a little bit more prominent in a build like this, where you can pull anything out of your discard pile potentially and make use of it in some way. Uh, but even still, I, I really don't like it. Any any potentially really good targets are going to get banished. So still iffy about this card. It was really really good in sets one and two. With the way the meta's changed, I really feel like it's not it's not really quite worth a card slot anymore. One villainous visage. Um, yeah, Captain can use a thing. And I feel like this deck may not be able to stand up to him very well. So on a good combat where you take that, you know, 15 cards of damage, you just throw it, throw it back to him for game, pretty much. Onto the physical attacks, two wall breaker. Um, like I said, some matchups you need to slow them down as much as possible. Um, shuts down Namekian hardcore, just just destroys them. Uh, shuts down Saiyan hardcore, which I know it's not very prominent in this meta, but even still, shuts down Saiyan because uh, Saiyan God Ku is a thing. Um, it, it, it just, it does really well. It, it's, it's worth the slots in the deck. On top of that, it's AT plus three with Tree of Might. Can still do some pretty hefty damage. Uh, three versus Captain Strike. Once again, I do not run any Supernovas. Do not feel like it's a needed card. Why would I want to pay stages when I can deal so much more damage? Um, with this, I can discard it for Mastery, gain Anger. Um, there's a lot of routes you can take with this deck, but... I really feel like it's it's just good at keeping just that. Three devastating blow, um, really good card. Anger control. This deck has pretty much all of its effects are geared towards stopping your opponent from MPPVing. Um, basically, I'm Garlic's worst nightmare <laughs> because with Golden Freeze, I can consistently crit. Keep them off of level four. Keep their Dragon Balls on my board. It, it's just Frieza is Garlic Jr.'s ultimate nightmare, and this card definitely helps because you can keep their uh, keep their blocks out of their hand depending on what version they're playing. But yeah, it's just good card. Good card. <sighs> Uh, Blue Lunch, incredible card. I've got to say it's my favorite physical attack in the entire deck. Uh, base damage is 18 plus 5, <laughs> which is amazing. Uh, it's 18 plus 7 with Tree of Might. Uh, maximum damage is 13 if they're an A with Golden Freezes. So massive damage plus you get to search top 5 for a setup or drill and throw it into play, so keeps dead cards out of your hand, which is always good as well. Excuse me. Uh, three blues face crunch, just like lunge, AT plus five, really good, really, 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 really good. Getting three stages if I need it, and uh, look at your opponent's hand. That's always good. I mean, you can't knock knowing what's in your opponent's hand. You just can't knock it on a turn that you didn't stare down. Really, really good. Really, really powerful. <laughs> just a really strong attack. Uh, three blue round throw. I don't run a lot of energy blocks in this deck, so I figured why not run an attack that can double as one without the mastery. So once again, it's AT plus five. Lower your opponent's anger one. Uh, and it can also be played to stop an energy attack rather than as an attack. So it's just a win-win-win on that card. It's just really good. Three blue head knock once again, shutting down MPPV, stopping Garlic Jr. in his tracks, um, stopping Namekian, stopping. Well, that's pretty much it, really. Uh, red, other red matchups. 
shuts them down hard. It really hurts red to be knocked down to zero a lot, unless, you know, they're at like one or something. You don't want to use that card early combat though. You want to use it late. Uh, three blue betrayal. It's your ally control. Banish that Nappa so he doesn't get in your way. Banish freezes so you don't have to worry about losing all your setups. Uh, it's just, it's really important to get this card. I would easily and happily trade out one of the blocks I run that I'm about to go over. I would easily and happily trade it out for Pulverize just to guarantee that I get this card. Um, but for the time being, it's it's going to work all right. Um, three blue precarious defense. I chose this card because you know, Turles isn't really a thing. <laughs> it has endurance, which isn't bad. I can get rid of problem setups during the planning steps. So, you know, that villainous visage, heroic plan, heroic assistance, uh, red relaxation, just all of those major threats right before they hit me in combat. <laughs> I can get rid of them. And, uh, yeah. And I, I would easily trade this. If I really needed to, I would trade this for Pulverize. But it's still a good utility card. Three blue wrist block. Um, helps against the blue matchup. Um, really helps against the orange matchup. Really prominent against blue piccolo. Uh, well, I guess not because blue piccolo is not really going to use physicals. But it, it's still... Still pretty good. Uh, last for the physical blocks is three blue fist catch. I'd rather have anger control than anything else, so um, I really like that. So that is nine physical blocks. Uh, onto the energies, I only run three energy attacks. Three blue neck beam. Yes, yes, yes. I know what you guys are thinking. Well, where's your blue terror? Honestly. In a deck that is 100% physical, I really feel like it's not worth paying two stages to get one card one time in a game. Just not worth it to me. I just, I, I don't feel like... <sighs> it can make or break a game enough to, to fit it in. I, I really don't feel like it's, it's needed. Uh, the reason I chose Blue Neck Beam... Uh, once again, MPP, MPPV control um, doubles as a physical block that gives me stages back if I absolutely need them. So this card does a lot more for me, um, and I'm not wasting stages on it. It actually does something for me, guaranteed, because I'd really hate to have that moment where I'm playing against black, and I go blue terror for time is warrior's tool, and then they black swirl me for time. Or they do something to, I don't know. They just, my opponent finds a way to counter whatever I pull. Or stops it or something. So, really good card. Really like it. Um, I do run the three blue guard. This deck really doesn't care about not gaining the anger off the mastery for discarding this. Uh, it does care about the draw. It does really care about that and it... it, it It, uh, yeah, you can really plus if you have multiple of these. Um, well, I guess not multiples, but if you run into them, it's really good. And last three, three blue barrier. Captain Ginyu's a thing. Yajirobe's a thing. I don't want them to be things, so get rid of the things in a block and then retaliate with a powerful attack. That's the idea. So that was my blue deck uh, for Golden Frieza. Uh, as you guys can tell, I have several versions built, trying to find out which one um, is set up for the meta the best. Right now, in my personal opinion, I really feel like it's red. Stop, it pretty much shuts down MPPV, destroys Ginyu's allies, and keeps them off board like crazy. Um, not, nothing against this deck. I really like this deck because it is the heaviest hitting of all of them. I do have an orange version of this deck. Um, 
That one can get pretty beefy, but then again, orange does not have very many good physical attacks, so it's it's kind of meh, to be honest. The only thing that, it, that that build does better than this one is that it can consistently stay on two uh, by using Devouring Drill. Only problem I have with that is Drill Hate. There's no way to consistently recycle it. So I really don't feel like the orange is up to snuff competitively. So I probably won't even give you guys a deck list. I know, I'm sorry. But uh, unless you guys request it, leave your comment below. Uh, but anyway, guys, that was uh, that was the uh, Blue Golden Frieza. Yeah, um, he will block all your attacks and be your worst nightmare. <laughs> if you don't run, like, 60 physical blocks, you're pretty much fucked uh, with this deck. That's what I really like about it. It's, it, it hits the heaviest I've ever seen, even heavier than Blue Turles. So, but anyway, guys, I think I've yabbered on long enough. I thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Uh, I will start uploading more and more deck profiles um, as we get closer to the October Colorado Regionals. Be sure to check that out. It'll be here in Pueblo, Colorado at Chaos Games and more. Uh, be sure to look for me. I'll be the, the guy in the Red Ranger shirt, more than likely. Uh, look for my mat. Um, let me back out a little, little bit. Oops. Let me back out a minute so you guys can see it. It's beautiful. Um, all right, guys. So I uh, hope to see you guys here at Regionals. Uh, be sure to uh, you know hit me up. On, uh, on the comments below. Let me know if you're going to come. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Forever Red 24. Signing off.